Hi, Joanne. Thank you for Thank talking you. to me today about Liam McCarthy. Um, um, I think we'll start, I suppose, with a general chat about, about him. And can you tell us a bit about the life of Liam McCarthy? Well, Liam McCarthy was uh, born in London and his parents were Irish. They were from County Cork. So he grew up in a household where um, Irish was a spoken language and he was very aware of Irish traditions. So um, he had a keen interest in all things Irish and Gaelic games, but particularly hurling as, as a young child. And he played hurling in London himself, um, you know, just just in his in his childhood days. Um, and then when he started working, he started working initially on the railways. And then when he married um, a lady called Alice Padbury, um, Alice's father had um, a cardboard box business um, in London. So Liam became very entrepreneurial and um, in the late 19th century, he set up his own um, cardboard box business, um, William McCarthy and Sons, which I believe is still um, thriving today. Um, so it's passed down through the generations. So, um, so when he set up that business, he himself became quite a prosperous um, uh, businessman. And um, I suppose the next step for him then was to use that, um, I suppose, the prosperity from business to kind of further his own personal interests. So he became very involved in GA circles in London. Um, and he was also vice president of the Gaelic League there. Um, but becoming involved in the GA circles in London, he became treasurer and then chair of London GAA. So he was very influential just from that position alone within London GAA circles in the early 20th century. So he was prominent there at a time when the likes of Sam Maguire was also involved in London GAA. Um, and also Michael Collins would have spent time yeah. in London um, around then. Um, so he was part of that whole scene um, in London GA, but he was definitely very influential. And given his um, his standing within the business community, um, he was um, he was a very influential figure. And he obviously kept close ties to Ireland. So wh why was he an important figure for the GAA? Um, well, obviously, I mean, some people say he's important because the cup is named after yeah. him. But, um, I suppose just given his his prominence in the in the the GA circles and the GA scene in London at a time when um, obviously Ireland was still um, under British rule and there was the whole struggle for independence. Um, he was very much at the forefront of the nationalist cause at the time. And he was um, so passionate about hurling and about the GA in um, the early 1920s. He approached the GAA with an offer to um, donate a cup that he would commission um, and he would donate that, present that to the GA, and they would present that. The, the basis was that he would, the cup would be presented to the winners of the All Ireland Championship every year. So um, he then he presented that cup. The GA accepted that offer, and um, in 1921, the cup, the Lee McCarthy Cup, was commissioned and um, paid for by Lee McCarthy, commissioned from Johnson Jewelers in Dublin, and um, has been presented ever since to the winners of the All Ireland Championship. And did he name it himself after himself or why is it named in his memory? Um, I'm not sure if he said that it had to be named after him himself. The, the, the inscription on the cup does say that it is um, the Perpetual All Ireland Challenge Cup um, and it's the Liam McCarthy Perpetual All Ireland Challenge Cup. So he had the name is very much on the trophy. Yeah. Not, the trophy was presented and then it was an afterthought to name it. Um, after Liam McCarthy because he had donated it so definitely within the design of the cup um, at the time it was part of the whole design process I suppose um, but I suppose um, given that he presented it and he had paid for it um, he was named he, he was he I suppose maybe wanted it named after himself um, so it, it is it, that is the name that we've had yeah um, can you tell us a little bit about the Liam McCarthy Trophy itself? So, uh, as I've already mentioned, it was it was commissioned by Liam McCarthy himself. So it was a jewellers in Dublin, um, Edmund Johnson Jewellers, um, who crafted um, the silver trophy. And the design of the trophy is based on um, a mither, or a, which is a medieval drinking vessel. There would be other examples of those in the National Museum. Um, so it's a very, very distinctive design, as we know. Um, so a little bit like the, the Sam Maguire, which is obviously based on the design of the Arda Chalice. They're very distinctive. Um, they're not, I suppose, 
other um, sport uh, trophies um, for sports events around that time seem to be quite generic in nature. There's yeah. almost a certain style, but but the Lee McCarthy and also the Sam McGuire Cup stand out. Um, and the design is, as I said, just based based on the 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 drinking vessel, the the, the mitre. Um, and it is a very distinctive design. And um, when the, the cup was commissioned in 1921, it actually wasn't presented then until 1923, um, when Limerick were the first team to be presented with the cup. And that was for the 20, 1921 final, but given the political situation in Ireland at the time, the 1921 final was delayed. Um, so while it is 100 years since the cup was, was commissioned, yeah. it actually wasn't presented until um, 1923. Um, but it is the centenary year this year for its presentation to the 1921 champions. And the original cup is in the GA Museum now. Yeah, so the original cup um, is on display, on permanent display in the GA Museum. And it was in use until 1991 when it was retired. And the last team to be presented with that cup were Tipperary. And um, they were presented with it in 1991. And then it was a t- retired and a new... Um, Exact replica was commissioned um, and it has been presented to the winners ever since. Um, so from 1992, Kilkenny were the first team to win the the, rep, the, new, the new Lee McCarthy Cup. And that's the one that's in, in circulation now. Um, and that's the one that's, that, that Limerick would have at the moment. 